This is Carmen Coffee of iCandy456.com. Can you please tell me how you and Mano hooked up for this video, We Mob It? Oh, uh, me and Mano hooked up with this video. It's easy. Like, we got family ties. Like, his people got know my people. He's like, yo, I got this record. I said, I'm on the way. I heard it, did it in the studio. Now we're here doing the video. Okay, that's right. And we're here in Brooklyn. Now, I know you're from New York, born, raised in Atlanta. So, does New York still feel like home? You still getting a lot of love here? Yes, Queens still feel like home for me. Riverdale still feel like home to me in Georgia. So, they both feel like the same place, but just two, like two different groups of people. Okay. What are the most exotic requests you've gotten here? Um, changing all the light bulbs in the room to purple, um, purple confetti, uh, candles, and a smoke machine during the session. So uh, those that would have like to. Sounds like that could be one of my favorite yeah. artists. Yeah, that was that was special. Yes. Slash uh, one of my favorite movies. <laughs> uh, and actually, title. that was a believe it or not, that was a producer. <laughs> oh, just yeah, a producer. that was just the producer. Okay, yeah. that's fabulous. Yeah. So, Ty, for those that don't know, you got your start working with legendary producer Teddy Riley on the Rump Shaker hit song. Yes, I did. So, being a guy coming from Queens and having that experience, how did it change your mentality as it pertains to the bigger picture of music? Working side by side with him, you know, it's like it's like prices right there. You know, to work with a genius that's been making hits that long. I absorbed so much knowledge and, you know, skills that it's like going to school, basically. Okay, great. You mentioned that the last time you saw Tyler Perry was in 2007, when you went to go see his show. And as he always does, he speaks to the audience after the show. And he issued you a very public stab would you have changed your reaction in any way? And can you tell us more about how that made you feel? So there was a situation in Oklahoma City with Medea goes to jail that came in Oklahoma City and Tyler was on stage and he said, you know, something to the extent of most of you guys don't know, but Melvin Hill was my very first promoter. Uh, and I was a little saddened by the, I guess the, the last part of the statement there. And you know, and I talked about how I felt when I drove home. You know, a lot of this book for the me. The last was, statement being, "How's that working out for?" Yeah, you? exactly. Well, he said I le he left me for bigger, better. That I left him for bigger and better things. Um, and how's that working out for you? And he kind of shrugged his shoulders, and, like, you know, I'm the baddest man on the planet. <laughs> Which, <laughs> Which you like, yeah, right, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> so you know, so that was the joke. And now I'm joined by an extraordinary individual, Mr. Marlon Buckner. How are you, sir? I'm fine. How are you this evening? I'm doing very well. Now, it's our first time at this event. Welcome to Washington. Well, thank you. Thank you. And everyone's been so accommodating and welcoming. But how long have you worked with the Food and Friends? Well, we are uh, sponsors of Food and Friends this year, and we've been supporters of the organization for, for many years. We're, we're thrilled to be here. It's an amazing group that does critically important work. Definitely. So we know that you've worked with Michelle Obama. Can you tell us a little bit about your involvement with the administration? Well, as part of a group of people in Washington and indeed around the country, we have worked to support the First Lady in her extraordinary efforts in uh, the Let's Move program. Sam Cass, the White House chef, has done an amazing job of leading that, of leading that work at the White House. And we are, like, like many, many hundreds of thousands of Americans, very, very pleased to be supporters of it. So were you trying to impress anyone in the fourth grade when you were making this? Not at all. I, I was really trying to figure it out for myself. But then eventually, I kind of transitioned over into doing savory things. Okay. I started out with breakfast food, egg sandwiches. I'm the master of the egg sandwich. Okay. I made it, I've made more egg sandwiches than probably anything else. Now you're in New York, so you know the egg sandwich. That's that's high up there on the breakfast list. All those delis and stuff you go to, <laughs> I, I will destroy those guys. Okay. Am I going to see a deli close. stand, like a Roble egg maybe, sandwich deli stand maybe, in the future? Maybe, maybe, Because I will be that the, like every morning. It could happen. I have some other plans first. You'll probably see a taco stand first. It's going to be called Flacos Tacos. I love tacos. You know what Flaco means in Spanish? I do not. It means skinny. Mm. Like, they call, they call me Flaco because I'm skinny. Okay. So it's going to be called Flacos Tacos. Love it. Okay, but I'm, 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 I'm I die, what's the word? I'm you digress. I digress. I digress. Um, maybe you can... Flacos, tacos, and then have the egg sandwich on the side. We can do both. 
for late no. night. It could be, yeah. It could be, it could be breakfast. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I think we have morning, like something going on. And then but tacos late all night. day, and then late night tacos again. I mean, I mean no, late, 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 late night breakfast sandwiches and tacos. We were getting out the club. Right in front of 4040, all day. All day early. Okay. We're, we're gonna talk about that after this. Exactly. I think we have something here. <laughs> um, but, uh, Both of us will be there like, <laughs> please feed me. Watch how quick this happens. This is gonna okay. be done. From this point, it'll be done in 10 minutes. Okay, so I okay. see salmon, salmon corn, fresh spinach. Corn, spinach, and I have some seasonings here. I have some uh, paprika, chopped garlic, salt. This is black lava salt. You don't have to use this. We just had it, so I'm using it. It's nice. Um, <laughs> and here is some olive oil with, with garlic in it. Again, you can just use regular olive oil, but we have nice olive oil, so we're going to use it. You ready to go? I'm ready. And spinach. You ready? Mm -hmm. We'll do it fast. Chef in training. Situation salivation 101. Yes, I want uh, honest opinions, okay? Oh my god. Amazing. OMG. All right, let me get back. What? Actually, the spinach, the bottom is actually the best part. Really? Yes, That's, it's I so love, tasty. It's I so many that. different tastes. I love that. You went in. In seven minutes, we went in. High five. This has been Carmen Coffee for iCandy456.com.